everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara Just Saw. And this video has been a nightmare. I watched Toy Story 4 last week and was at a convention and filmed a video as Chucky Finster and then went to edit it and couldn't get internet on my computer. So fun. So me as Chucky Finster reviewing Toy Story 4 is unfortunately something that no one will ever get. No one wanted it, but they'll never get it as well, also. Two. I also went and saw Annabelle Comes Home, or Is Home, or Arrives Home, or uh, Didn't Make It Home for Christmas. Uh, I went and saw the new Annabelle movie and was thinking I might do an episode on that, but I think people still really wanted to hear about Toy Story 4. I put up a poll on my Twitter about it, so there will be an Annabelle comes home video on my personal channel because I really enjoyed it for the most part. There's some problems, but I love the Conjuring universe. So I want to talk about that over there. Check that out. That's up today as well. I really enjoyed Toy Story 4 and I also really loved, as everyone knows, <laughs> the new live action Aladdin remake. But I just need to take a second and talk about how little new content we have been getting mainly with like children and family movies as of late. Disney. Thankfully, Pixar is releasing, I think, two new original films coming out soon. There's also Frozen 2. It's all new. I just, I feel like Toy Story 4 was a lot of the same stuff, and they did it in such a wonderful, beautiful way, and especially the third act is really good, but mostly it's just kind of like, I, I enjoyed it, and I think I'm the perfect demographic for this film, but mostly, ah, like, I would, I, I don't know. I want to say I'd prefer like something new. Like, 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 like something new. Like. Show us something new, please, Disney. I know you have the resources, you have the writers, you, you could pull from anything. If someone writes a cool story, you could just buy it. <sighs> new. I know everyone has the same sentiment for the most part and it's nothing new to hear that. And that being said, I also really enjoyed Toy Story 4. Was it necessary? Definitely not. But I loved it, and I cried at it too. It made me cry. It wasn't like the tear fest, sad sob thing that Toy Story 3 was, <laughs> which by the way was a beautiful ending to this series. And then that's a pretty ballsy move to be like, you, you know what ended well? Toy Story, you know what we should bring back? Toy Story. Also a very safe move. They knew people were gonna come and see it. I was in that perfect age where when Toy Story first came out, I saw it in the theater. And I grew with Andy and the ending of three was heart-wrenching and oh, so heavy and good. And then four was also heart-wrenching and good. But it just kind of felt like all the same stuff. And in that, you love all that stuff. So you're like, that's fine. I'm totally cool with watching this two hour movie. It wasn't even two hours, which mwah, love it. I'm cool watching this movie because I love these characters. We've grown with them. We've built everything up with them. We know them really well. So I was so happy to watch them. I had such a blast with it. And then also I felt like until we got to the third act, it was pretty much same old, same old, business as usual. I haven't watched any reviews on this film, but from talking with friends who were at the con, Doug and Malcolm and uh, Brad Jones, um, th they had a similar sense and feeling of the film. I think a lot of people are gonna feel that way. The film opened up on a, a, just a beautifully sentimental scene a really, really nice opening to the film. And then like the end of the film, like I said, third act was like my favorite parts. And then in that chunk of middle where we get the action and we get the stuff we've seen before, we get all these new toys. And I think that in all of the Toy Story sequels, some of my favorite bits are with the new toys. Like when we got the Barbie scene and I think that was two and, and introducing all of these new characters is a really fun thing. They're toys so you can make them anything. Oh my gosh, burp. You can make them anything. <laughs> I loved Key and Peele's characters. Those adorable plushies were so much fun. I loved Keanu Reeves' character. He is just the best. I know everyone and their mothers and their fathers and their sons and their daughters and their cats loves Keanu Reeves and I'm right there with them. Love the guy, love Keanu so much. It just felt like it was totally written for him. It was super fun, such a good addition to the cast. 
And then also, mostly, it was Woody. The whole group was barely in it. We barely saw Jesse and Buzz wasn't in it at all, barely at all. And then, the, you know, the dinosaur and Slinky and P Mr. Potato Head. And it was all, it was not an ensemble thing. It was Woody's story and, and this arc that he goes through. And with that, the ending was so much fun and beautiful and I cried. And it opens it up to more movies, which is definitely the point, I think, of this film. And that's, that's cool to me. I, I'll never get tired of Tom Hanks as Woody. I love Bo Peep. I definitely want to cosplay as Bo Peep after watching this film. <laughs> she was so cool and fun. And the fact that it opened up to a different angle for future films was exciting. And then I just wish that it wouldn't have been so, like, same old, same old. Oh, Forky, also a very good new character and great voice acting. Wonderful job. You got a friend in me. Boom, boom, boom. You got a friend in me. Burn, burn out. When the road is up ahead and you're miles and you're miles in your nice warm bed. Just remember what your old pal say goes, you got a friend in me. Ba ba da ba 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 you got a friend. Okay. A couple specific things. I think that specialty stuff that t took place outside looked incredible. I just watched this video comparing the animation or the whatever, CGI, whatever you call it. I don't freaking know. But um, comparing the first Toy Story to this Toy Story and then the, the thumbnail is of Bo Peep if you want to watch it. The grass and the rain and people's the hair on some of these toys. Gabby Gabby, she's a new character. Her hair was just gorgeous. That must take forever. Gabby Gabby is kind of our not villain at all, but she's, you know, where all of the conflict comes from for the most part. And she has these henchmen that are like the ventriloquist puppets, and they are legitimately scary. I was pretty in it to win it, was watching it pretty intensely. And there was an act, like I actually jumped a little bit at one point, <laughs> like a jump scare in Toy Story 4. It wasn't in any means scary, but they were definitely effective. I think I could easily watch all four of these films in a row. Get together with friends and marathon them all and eat snacks and just reminisce on what we love and childhood and growing up with film. And it's something that with this series I can actually identify with and relate to, which is cool. Overall, I really loved it. I think there was a little bit of repetition and I understand why people wouldn't enjoy it because of that. I know Doug was kind of saying that it can definitely feel like a cash grab if you're not, I don't know. I don't know. I could, I, I understand when people are, are saying that, but I overall, I really loved it. If it was one or if it was four, it's, it's still a really good movie. And just based on the movie alone, I would give it nine out of 10 hair flips. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next week with either Far From Home or Midsummer. I want to watch both of them. I might do the same thing where I do one for, for this channel and then one just on my personal channel because I want to watch and talk about both of those movies so badly. Midsummer, though, I really wanted to. Okay, anyways, check out the Annabelle video on my channel. I will see you all next week. Thank you so much. I've got a snake in my boot. Bye. <laughs> very aggressive. Bye!